a shock a minute ago and you can see that it's showing 62.4 volts in the water. I've got my ground to the water on the concrete. I've got my other lead in there. So I wonder what's wrong with this. Um, I'm going to open this GFI breaker up and see. But I would say that we got a ground not hooked up. Let's see if we can find it. Now this customer wasn't even complaining about this tub having electricity in the water. And the reason is, see, they got a deck around it. So they're never touching ground while they're in this tub. But I felt it when I was standing here. And you see my feet down a little wet and I reached in and touched the water and I felt a shock. And I told you there was no ground. Look, you got incoming neutral, incoming hot. There's outgoing neutral, your two outgoing hots. Look at this ground right here. That is your outgoing ground to the tub. Not hooked up. And what happens is your GFI is introducing power to ground. With this ground not hooked up, it puts power in the water because your heater and all that stuff's not grounded. Let me touch this and see if it kicks the breaker. I think it will. But see, with that, once I hook this back up, I'm going to chronicle this. I want to make sure that, that I'm doing this right. I'm going to set this right here. We're going to put our... Hold on. See, we're showing voltage. Now, I'm going to let you... I want you to be able to still see that voltage. See me hook my ground up. Let's see if I can do that. Now when I hook this ground up, let's see if the voltage goes away. Look at that. It does. So when I touch that to ground, the voltage goes away. Just that simple. So that's a sign when you see that no ground with the GFI in. And on the same system, somebody had removed this screw so this block was not grounded to the box. The metal box has got to be grounded. And so I installed a screw back in here. So this thing is complete and running like a shoe. And again, the Spa Guy saves the day. Thanks, Spa Guy. Your hot tub superhero.